Hey to fans, welcome back to the lab for another 2 minute Tuesday tutorial. Right in front of me I have an Atom Television Studio HD switcher. Now these switchers are widely used in a lot of productions and workflows as well as some of our cameras of course, the HD100A and the PTZ X20 IP. But I have a problem. If I pull up the multi view right now, you'll notice that I don't have an image. So what's causing this to not work together? Why are they having problems? Why are they fighting? Well, let's go ahead and reconcile that relationship and see what we can do to get them talking. So let's get started. Excuse the mess right in front of me, but lucky for you, it's easy to rekindle the relationship between these two cameras as well as the switcher. The reason why they aren't talking is because the switcher itself is set to a different resolution than the HD100A and the PDZ camera. For example, the HD100A comes at 1080-30p. The PTZ itself comes in at 108060. However, I did change this to 108030 just for this, you know, demo sake. Now, the the switcher itself, it's easy to tell what resolution it's set at. So if we go ahead and we go to the Atom and we enter the menu, you'll notice that in the settings you'll find video format. And that video format itself is set to 1080p 5984. This is the main reason why the cameras aren't able to communicate. So by having the Atom switch cave in to the format of the cameras themselves at 1080p30 or closely related to 1080p 2997 because the ATEM switch itself doesn't support full frames, you'll now notice that just like any relationship, once somebody caves in, it starts to work again. And voila! Just like that, we're going to have our two cameras working on our ATEM switch here. I have our uh, HD100A right in front of me and then I have our PTZ camera right here. Now, sometimes you'll get an issue where maybe like, you know, one of the cameras is flickering or something like that. Uh, in this case, all you need to do is just make sure that the frame rate is the exact frame rate matching the Atom switch. Sometimes you'll get lucky like me right now where you're not going to see a lot of like flickering or anything like that. But in order to change that, just go down to the format or the setup of the cameras um, and then head down to frame rate and then just change this to 2997. And then go ahead and enter that. And then now, after you change that, you shouldn't get any more flickering. But like I said, in this case, I don't have it. So just in case you uh, had problems with that. And that's that. If you do have any more questions or comments on this, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. But in terms of the content, if you did like it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, or even share this video to anybody. It helps out our channel grow and it helps us get to you more content. That's it for today. I'll see you next week.